Okay, guys, what's going on? Uh, I have a lot of people that are that are questioning about my um, crossbreed holsters. They're asking me some questions about it, and a lot of people, guys, are going to the original video where it says "Is a crossbreed holster for you," and they're watching it and uh, they're saying, "Like, man, those things look almost brand new." And you know, how often do you wear them and all this? So I actually ended up putting an annotation on it. When that video was made, guys, about two years ago, it was one that was brought over from the original channel. And uh, those holsters were about two or three weeks old, but I, had, I was already sold on them. So that's why I made that video. And uh, so, yeah, they were still pretty new looking. But this one I wear just about every day. This one is for my XD40, and I have this on literally almost every day. And you can see it does not look anywhere near as pretty as it once did. Now, I just got done wiping it down with Ballastol. And uh, the reason I do this, and that every week I, I wipe this thing down with Ballastol, I clean it, and this is what I clean my leather with. All right, now Chuck, my hollow point, and some other people have made mention, there's a guy that I know that I work with, he's got one of these. It's not a crossbreed, I think his is a white hat, but it is horse height. And he's had his for about six months, and he's like, man, how do you keep it looking so new? Because his is almost as dark as this Kydex. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you clean your leather with? And the answer I got, as I mentioned on the last video, was, uh, enough said, right? So what I did when I first got these holsters was rub the crap out of them with saddle soap. Bought a can of saddle soap, not the liquid, the paste. And I literally just put a huge thick coat all over it. I took the clips off and just literally worked it in like I was spit shining it, okay? And uh, then once a week, I use Ballastol, I'll wipe them down, just like I got done here, and you can see how dark it is. Well, in about an hour or two, whenever it lightens back up, we're going to come back and finish this video up, and I'll show you it does go back light. Now, Chuck, uh, my hollow point, as I mentioned earlier, he bought one, and he said he put Ballastol on his, and it stayed dark. Now, the only explanation I got is because I did use that saddle soap first. But I just wanted to show everybody, yeah, it is dark. It is 846 now and uh, or 47 and we'll be back and i'll show you that it does go back light maybe the saddle soap is what did it or i just got a unique brand of horse hide i don't know anyway guys we'll be back in a minute and we'll finish it up okay we're back guys we went to town for a while it's uh what about 10 minutes to four something like that and uh, as you can see she's back to about normal okay so uh that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, what was the difference between mine and Chuck's is that this did have a bunch of saddle soap on it first. Maybe that made the difference. But uh, yeah, take care of your equipment, guys. Uh, take care of your stuff. Um, you know, like I said, I use Ballastol. I think it's an excellent leather protector and cleaner. Um, there's other products. Some people like to use saddle soap and what all, but that's what I use, and it keeps it pretty much like this. Like I said, this has got. Uh, I wear this just about every single day. I haven't worn it today, naturally let it dry out, but I wear it just about every day. And so there it is. So take care of your stuff, it ought to take care of you. Listen, I wanna take just a moment here, guys, and I wanna thank every one of you guys. I wanna thank all my subs. I wanna thank everyone who uh, commented on that last video. You know, sometimes everybody uh, lets things get under their skin, and I made a video oh, about a year or so, maybe two years ago, called Careful, Don't Argue With A Moron. I need to listen to my own advice. Kind of almost got into that with another channel, with another guy on another channel. Uh, not another channel, but another guy that, um, you know, basically hated me for one of my beliefs, and that was it. But at any rate, guys, pretty much I've always said before, you can say whatever you want about me. I don't care. You know, you can unsub me. You can like me. You don't like me. Whatever the case might be. But once you start getting personal, you cross the line. And I'm going to say something at that time. I'm not going to let that go. You know, I've been fuck being politically correct screw that shit i'm tired of this well we can say anything we want but by god you can't yeah well kiss my ass ain't happening with me no more done with that and uh so you uh you, you attack me my family my beliefs my country you know you cross the line at that point i'm saying something and uh i should learn to say something once and let it go and go on but at any rate a lot of you guys comments made me realize that uh you guys are awesome and it just goes to show most people here are some really fine folks. And you do have some despicable asses out there. I think they should be treated as such. Um, Scrappy taught me that. I think he's a good dude, personally. Um, but uh, at any rate, uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got. Uh, next time, we'll get something a little different coming up. Might give you a little bit of a preview of that a little bit later on. But hey, 
there it is guys take care of your leather products like i said i use ballast all what do you guys use keep them looking good all right guys take care we'll talk to you later